Today I'm going to show you how to access the uh, router remotely and do port forwarding. It's a Virgin Media router. Now we're going to access to that Virgin Media router. And it's a secure website. That's why we have to go through certificate. And now access to the router okay I use a password to access the router And uh, we are doing the Hikvision IP NVR, NVR to uh, do port forwarding like by the Virgin router. It's a bit slow because we access him on remotely and and over internet is a bit slow. On the other side, Virgin Media is about 50 meg. And this is a Virgin Media router that we access. And the new router it has different menu. Uh, to do the port forwarding, first of all, you need to know the IP address of the DVR. And you can go, for example, on the DVR menu and network and find the IP address. The best thing is put the IP on DHCP and apply and exit from the page. Uh, you can go to n maintenance and from there choose the network and you can see the IP address normally is something like that 192.168.1.0.0. something or dot one or something. and in here we got the router this is our DVR which is this IP address on that router and to do the port forwarding, the place you need to access is access setting, uh, advanced setting. Uh, to access the, yeah, we need to port forwarding. We need to access to the port forwarding in here, add the rules. For example, we got the IP address, which is 192.168.0.12. Because our network is a version, router give us an IP like that 192.168.0.1 if is for example if it's BT BT will be 192.168.1 something that the router give you access point for the access uh, to the router is the uh, version always is 192.168.0.1 and the port we're gonna forward it's uh, port 80 and um, 80 start port end port 80 and externally should be 80 as well and um, 80 for the end external then we do leave it on both protocol on tp tcp and u udp and both you will leave it on both and enable the thing and when you add it it will come in here and it will show 80 and after that we need to do 8000 and 8,000 and 8,000 8,000 and then again add a click add and it will come up, come up here the, the last port we're gonna do is 554 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and when you done the power port forwarding in here then apply the changes when when you apply the changes then the port will be open 80 8000 and 554 to access to the dvr you need to do the device remotely you know uh, the use external ip address which is here the ip address we have in here is uh, external ip address and to access to that we have this one and now we can access to the DVR and it's we use the username and password on the DVR and 
now we can log into the DVR, which is on different side. And here we got IP camera. On this DVR, we have only uh, it's eight channel NVR, and we have one, two, three, four, five uh, cameras on. Uh, all right, and with. Uh, It depends on the speed of the internet, you know, upload is, uploading a speed and downloading. You can get it faster or with a slow. But normally it takes a few minutes, a few seconds. This is a wide internet. Yeah. Okay. And then from here, you can uh, check all configuration. To use configuration, uh, you can access to every single um, um data on dvr you know on menu and you can change uh, to uh, uh, manual record or motion detection alarm voice everything you have you have access to the dvr in here and then you can do playback or if you take a picture picture as well live view um and if we have in storage, it shows this is the first camera is recording on continuously. It's continuous. And but the second camera is on green, which is motion. And the third camera is, is on motion. And the fourth camera is on motion. And fifth camera is on motion detection as well. They are IP camera and um, uh, 4 megapixel IP camera. Uh, it's a uh, Hikvision DVR and uh, we have one uh, camera um, There's number uh, This camera is uh, Avisa IP camera The second camera is Hikvision camera and The third camera is Avisa camera Fourth camera is Avisa camera and the fifth camera is also a visa camera. For um, example, this camera, yeah, and uh, it shows very clear. But obviously, it's uh, online. It's on monitor. That's why you see it like that. But on the proper monitor, uh, 4K TV, uh, you can view this one very, very clear. And if I put it on only one screen and this camera it's a uh, uh, built-in auto zoom in fact you can zoom in zoom out um, with the ptz function but the main uh, job it was uh, port forwarding which, which we finish in here and you can access it online um, because I have a virgin router then um, it's the IP obviously is static but for some route uh, some other router you need to get a static IP address from the internet provider or you have to get the um, Dyn DNS or HIC DNS at the moment the HIC DNS is not working proper but some DVR some NVR work but the heat connect uh, is going to be available I think maybe in a month um, and to access to that that part you need to go to network and then go to DNS and in DDNS you can in here set up the DDNS Europe and this is the access point yeah and you can access it from here and any name you put in here you will be able to access it uh, if your IP change uh, this one straight away will change it will uh, change the IP and you can access with that name for example any name if I put any name in here and then save it it will uh, active the but well, depends sometimes it won't activate because of the problem with the heat connect but most of them they work and hopefully they can sort it out within one month